Well, <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> Look at I'm really liking the music. <laughs> I would say that maybe, um, we never left. We never left. Did I never leave? Um, maybe get rid of the, um, Pixelation, but it's like, man, maybe I should get that new CPU. When I was thinking, um, hello, when I was thinking, um, you know, it, it gives it that, that, um, I don't know, I just like the style of it. Cause it, it, Please leave your message after the tone. I'm talking. Uh, hello, this is William. Afton? You don't know me, but your cousin Michael works Afton? at Gloucester <laughs> Studios, and he has not shown up to work at all this week, and nobody in the office has heard from him. Well, I'm tired. So, of course, I stopped by his house to see if he was okay, and his car was in the driveway, and I swear, I thought I saw someone walk by the attic window. Oh, don't mind him. Nobody answered the door. Um, but I did find a note on the door, which is why I'm calling you, and it just has your name, number, and a message that says, finish the game. So... You know, Michael's known around the office for being uh, a little bit off, but this is strange, like, really strange even for him. And, you know, as I'm sure you know, he typically keeps very to himself, but he has talked a little about you and how you guys used to write the uh, uh, Choose Your Own Adventure stories together. So, you know, I hope you know what this all means, and of course, I hope Michael is okay, but we I'm not. really need to get in touch with him. So... When you get in touch with him, please tell him to call us at the office. Uh, okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye. I'm sure he's fine. <gasps> Cigarette smoking's bad for you. Throw it out. No, I don't want to do that. Boots. So this is his house. No, oops, smoking. Oh. Michael gave me this key. Uh... To this house key, you, yeah, years ago. I don't know why, but he insisted I keep it. We haven't spoken in years. I can spin it. Yeah, look, those. It's a, it's a house key, all right. So this is his house. I should get some lights on in here. Wait, where's for the living room? Behind you. <laughs> Pizza. Is that the note? What's that? Journal entry. Yes, those are those are lines. I could probably read it without the pixelation. Um, February 7, 1983. Dr. Moody suggested I start writing my thoughts into a journal. According to her, it can help me sort through my more difficult thoughts. I hate the term. I hate that term, difficult thoughts. I don't think wanting to create my best work is something to be thought of as di difficult. Maybe I'll stick to it, but I don't really you see that happening. February 1983. I just got back home from work and I'm so sick of being there. No one understands my vision. I thought when I decided to work in computer games that I'd, I'd be able to just stretch my legs a bit and finally bring my art to the world. But no. They're all so tame. They say that my ideas are too dark. It's, it's not too dark. It's horror. Well, I guess, yeah. There's a difference. That, yeah, I've been... <laughs> Is there such a thing as too dark of horror? Oh, yeah, probably. Eh, they want to make games about dragons and knights and fantasy quests. That's not horror. I frankly don't care about saving some princesses. I mean, I do. It's shallow, hey. According to them, horror isn't marketable. <gasps> How dare they say that? 
We need to meet our quotas. No one will want to play something this twisted. Screw them. I'll do it myself. I mean, I'd play it. That's not what I meant to do. Man, I, I sure drink a lot. <gasps> what is it? Um... Wait, this is the second one? It's the first one. God dang it. <laughs> Couch. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, my first deer. I should have got the uh, head stuff. No, that would have been cost too much. Jesus. This looks like a good enough time waster. Wait, I could play a game? Ah, God. Uh, rotate. Fire. Zoom in. Something's gonna happen in the background. Okay, uh, press. So where's the... Oh, it can only rotate, okay. Ah! I don't know if there's an actually a reward for getting a certain point. Or if it's just something fun they added. Okay, hold the key so you can actually turn. Don't just... What's the farthest I can go? Yeah, I figured I can't just hold this uh, space bar. What happens if I go to 100? What happens if I go to 50? Nothing happened. Can I get at least an achievement or something? Come on, I got 200. You didn't make a sound. Fine, I'll stop. Ow. Well, that was fun. March 15, 1983. I've been at work pretty pretty relentlessly trying to make something great. A lot of the work has just been watching movies. Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Shining, etc. They're fine, but it needs something else. I'm just not sure why. When I watch Jason Voorhees chasing campers, I feel nervous, sure, but scared? I feel tense and I feel worried for the characters, but I know that I'm okay, so I don't feel that horror. I don't feel like I'm in any danger. It feels so disingenuous. Plus, it really did. It's really difficult to capture that visual aspect of the tech I have available. All I really have is text, text, and more text. I'm not much of a reader, but maybe I should take out the Shining novel. Could translate better to my games. March 17, 1983. I've thought about it. I think I was wrong. Maybe the technology won't allow much in the way of visual horror, but. That doesn't mean I can't find another way. I'll keep trying. But I think I'm onto something. March 18, 1983. I've got it. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, you. Um. Yeah, obviously, it's scary. It's, I guess, scary. And, like,. Yeah, I, I get what he means, and y you know you're okay. The only word you would only be scared if it was actually happening to you. I think I have an idea where this is going. God dang it! Doggy, what's this? Bedroom key. Why did Michael lock up his bedroom? Feed the cat. Cat's bed. Where's the cat, though? Why is that boarded up? Pizza. I want some pizza. Garage door. Why is the door boarded up? Boarded up. Something seems off. What are you trying to keep in there? What's this? Oh, the bricker box. I don't really need to mess with this thing now. 
the fact that man we're just hey, it's not our electricity bill to pay <laughs> oh the cassette tapes come on listen I'll need something to play this on um it's uh I thought that was gonna be like PT. Rags. Just, just do laundry. Yeah, it's gonna be like, uh, Sunday's gonna turn off the power, and then we're gonna come over here and turn on the breaker. Just like Phasmo. Oops. March 28, 1983. What was the last one we read? Dr. Moto says I'm using the journal wrong. She says I need to get out of my emotions and my anxieties. I'm not disturbed. I'm just passionate. She doesn't get it. Nobody gets it. I'm on the verge of creating the next evolution of horror entertainment, and people are just saying my brain is effed up for having those horror thoughts. It's not like I think that way personally. Is is Dario ungentle? Sadistic because he directed a movie where dancers are getting sacrificed to a cult? What? No. People call him a genius. How is what I'm doing any different? I'm making a character. April 2nd, 1983. Multimedia. That's the key. I figure it out, and I, and I like where this is going. I've got a plan in place. I just need to execute. Everyone's gonna see that I'm a real artist. This game is gonna be different than anyone has ever seen. My magnum opus. What do you mean? What are you making? Do I want to go in there? Good. Parody. What's this? Ooh, lagged a bit. Um. Where is the cat? The cat's in the, the garage. Um. So obviously I need to be in okay, what's in this one? It says bathroom, not bedroom, dummy. Sorry for disturbing you. I'll be on my way. <laughs> I really don't want to open it. And it's gonna be the notes like turn around. Okay, I can't read it. Dang it. I can't read it with it. <sighs> be brave boy, three, two, one. What is that sound? What's it doing here? Can I turn it off? What is this doing here? What, what is that sound? Oh, and now we can play the cassettes. Uh, we'll listen to all of them before we go to do whatever. April 20th, 1983. Everything's in place. I haven't slept in days, but this is going to be worth every second of exhaustion. I keep getting calls from work asking where I've been. I don't see a point in answering. They never understood. So why would they start now? I'm about to make a better game than any of those... <laughs> those people could ever imagine. There are a lot of risk involved. But this is some really good stuff. Time to create true horror. April 25th, 1983. I picked up my playtester. I needed someone special. Soon who I felt that, if anyone, would understand.
the importance of what I'm doing. He didn't like my ideas much when we were just writing stories, but I've matured. I know how, how to execute. Everything's perfect. Oh, he chose us. That's that's obviously to make obviously he chose us, dummy. He put our name with our number and stuff. So b the work would go over there, see the notes, call us, and then we go through all this. Okay, so god dang it, towel. Is that box there? I could have sworn it wasn't. Well, now we can listen to the tapes. And recording. Okay, this is Dr. Miller. It's currently February 12th, 1983, and I'm talking with Michael Krieger, age 33. 32. Right, sorry, age 32. How are you feeling today, Michael? Tired. I mean, I've been worse. Been up to anything exciting? No, not really. I've been watching a lot of movies, but that's about it. Oh, what movies? Mostly horror movies. Oh, I can't, I can't watch those. I'm a bit too jumpy. Um, why, why horror movies? They're fun. I guess watch. the feeling I'm trying to get, it's like I'm so numb. Maybe if I find the right movie, it'll make me feel something, but it's like, it's like none of them are enough. Um, I can see how that can be frustrating. Yeah. Um, uh, have you, uh, uh, been writing in a journal, like I suggested? Oh, yeah. I actually think I'm taking to it a bit more than I expected. Well, that's great to hear. Is there a reason you've had a change of heart about it? I know you weren't super thrilled last time we talked. Yeah. Yeah, I think I found a use for it. That's really great to hear. So, um, I did want to ask about where we left off last. I know you don't like to talk about it, but... Are you having any more thoughts of hurting others? Hurting yourself? I, listen, I... I know what I wrote on the papers. It, it sounds bad, but it's more fantasy than anything. It's not like I'm planning on doing anything. They're just... They're just stories. Just stories, I promise. I understand that, but if they continue coming to mind, then... I promise. I'm okay. Okay. Where is the cat? Oh, there's pictures photograph of an old house. Well, I can't really exactly see it. <laughs> picture of a living room. Never seen this picture, picture before. It looks like it's only lit with camera flash. Again, can't see it. <laughs> Cosmic, turn off the pixel stuff. I could. We are recording. This is Dr. Miller. It is March This was 20th, the first one, wasn't it? And I'm speaking with Michael Krieger, age 32. How are you doing today, Michael? Actually, um, I'm doing pretty good. I promise. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think I've got something figured out. And what do you mean by that? Like, uh, you remember last session how I talked about feeling stuck? I think I found a way out. Oh, and, and how's that? I decided to make my own game. Something that no one at the company would understand. It's going to be amazing. And uh, what does everyone at work think well, about this? I, I haven't gone in a, in a few days. And why is that? I just... I, I, I feel stifled there. I go back, but... I need this time to work on my work. I need to focus on this one thing. Well, I'm glad you found something, but please remember, you need to take care of yourself. I, I know, know, I know. I know. Trust me, this is all going to be great. Well, it's, it's great that you found something. Don't I know it. And are you still writing in that journal? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Would I be uh, allowed to see it? Hmm. Not just yet. It's, it's, it's not quite finished yet. Finished? Yeah, it's not done. I'm not... I'm not sure what you mean. Um, the journal isn't exactly something you finish. It's more like a continuous stream of thought. I know, just... just... I'll let you look soon, okay? Okay. Well then. And we'll go listen to the final one. Unless there's actually more in the bedroom. Attic. The attic is locked. I think I need a key. Oh, I don't want to go up there. What is that, anyways? Alright, and good. Okay. Okay, this is the first one, isn't it? I think I'm a little laggy over here. This is, just for this is the first one. I promise that these tapes aren't going to leave this office. Okay. So, name and age? Um, Michael Krieger, uh, 32. And what brings you to see me today, Michael? I thought I filled all that out on the paperwork. Yes, but I always like to ask. It's just nice to hear you share it in your own words in person. Well, I, um... I guess I just feel kind of stuck. Could you expand on that at all? Well, a lot of it is work. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to work for a video game company. It's, it's what I love to do. I just... Fuck, I... Oh, just... No, no, it's okay. Say it how you feel it. You don't have to censor yourself. I just... thought I'd be able to express myself a bit more, you know? I'm, I'm really craving that creative freedom. I get there's a market for those fantasy games we make, but I, I just feel like I could be making... More. What do you mean by more? Something real? Something that would make you feel something? I don't know. And is this feeling just related to work? No. But it's a big cause of it. Hmm. Okay. So, um, I did want to talk to you about what you wrote in your paperwork. There are certain things that I find concerning. I'd really like if we could talk about that, if you're able. Uh, yeah, could we not? I, at least not yet. I'm, I'm just not... <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. I understand. We can circle back to that later, okay? Okay. Would have been great to know that... Um, which ones to listen to first. So that's just gonna be... <coughs> sorry. But okay. Picture of a wood woman reading in her living room from outside a window. Who's taking it? Well, I can't see it. Okay, I just want to know. Wait. Why is he taking a picture? Should I just keep it off? Dang it. And there's the camera. Wait. Yeah, it's, it's a camera, all right. Instruction sheet. It's coming handy. How to play text games. Keep your phrases simple. Some commonly used commands is our exam button and go to, followed by your target. Where does they be far? While these are by far not your only commands, they may help you if you are unsure what to do. Example, go to door. You must specify if you'd like to use an item on something by tapping your desired action followed by the object and the item. This format as action object with item. Example, unlock the door with the key. Do not use punctuating in your commands. If you feel you've completed the task in an area, you can always type go back. Was Buddy Simulator text? Yeah, no, it was, it was, was. In the beginning, it was. I like that part. Oh, another note. More clothes. What's that? Be kind to animals, as you should. What's that? I don't know. That looks kind of scary. Just more bottles. Where's the cat? Oh. Imagine, dang it. Imagine it actually um, guess it right. 
Is this some sort of clue? Why is he running front and back? Have you been seeing everything you need, or have you been missing something? Go see the other notes. Four. Dang it. <laughs> One. Uh, that was the last note. I'm pretty sure. No, because I, I looked at this one. Yeah, there's nothing. There's only bathroom. Four three one three. Okay, we just have to guess the combo. Oh, okay. That's that's why he said I'm that Dr. Miller says I'm using it wrong. Um. Okay. There's something we're missing. Three. Oh, okay. So I guess what's in order? So four, one, three. That bang it. We find the dead cat. <laughs> Yay. And dead cat. The computer. Why is it locked away? On the one of Michael's games. Is this what he was talking about? Yep, it's a game, alright. Nothing else. Massacre. <gasps> Did he kill people? Kitty. Nothing. Nothing. Wait. No. Okay, that is loud. Uh, yeah. I don't think my computer likes this game. You feel happy with both the weight of your cargo and your conscience as your bare toes graze the the asphalt beneath your beneath you through your worn shoes you marched onward you knew exactly where to go next the axe you looked behind you made a screeching noise as the metal grinded across the street you arrived at your destination the old miller house a quaint rustic home with two floors there's a door directly in front of you beside you on the left is an old car to your right a path to the backyard uh go to old car you take a look at the car. It's an old and rusted sedan. There's a story to this car that you can't quite put your finger on. The smell is of an old smell of one of old scrapyards and metalwork. You look through the window. The keys are sitting inside. Um open car door. The car door is locked. But the keys are inside. Open car window. Wait, how would we do that? Uh, look at car window. Look at cars. Go back. Right. Oh, hold left. <laughs> uh. Oh, use. Axe on car window. Use on car. Use axe 
on car window. Car door. Dang it. I swear, like, if we hear, we do something to the car, we hear something outside. Maybe, what if, what if, um, now I was about to say, I was like, what if he's inside the game or he's going to kill us? Um, open door. Open front door. Didn't understand that. Look at door. You approach the front door. It's a beautiful shade of red. The architecture sets the scene perfectly. What's happening feels like a true moment. Open front door. Door's locked. Okay. Um go to backyard. Go back. <laughs> Walk to the backyard. You move quietly to the backyard. It's not as spacious as you would have thought, but the grass is trimmed perfectly. The patio is dimly lit by a dying light fixture. The back door sits at the end of the short stone path. Look at the back door. Open the back door. No, wait. Walk to back door. <laughs> uh, the open back door. The back door is locked. Okay, car door is locked. Front door is locked. Back door is locked. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Can we just use the axe um, to open it? <laughs> use axe on back door. No, too much noise. Go back. Look at Axe. Dang it. Use Axe? Obviously, like, use Axe on what? Go to old car. Break. Window. You cannot just... Break window with axe. The glass shatters with a loud crash. Not too loud, you hope. You peer inside of the vehicle. There's a set of keys left out on the dash. Grab keys. You grab the keys from the car. So, one of these... Go back. Open front door with keys. <laughs> Go to <laughs> front door. It's gonna say unknown. You broach the front door. Okay. Open front door with keys. Open front. Because I spaced. Open front door with keys. None of these keys need to fit the lock. Okay, it's it's uh, the back door. Go to backyard. Look at back door. Go to back door. You brush the back door. It's a flimsy screen door that stands in front of the more sturdy wooden one. Open back door with keys. 
And we hear something. Oh, hell no. 